Installing an open graded stone is gaining more acceptance in every single market. Some of the benefits of installing an open graded stone is that you can install in freezing temperatures, has a faster installation process during the construction, and prevents movement during freeze thaw cycles. For a pedestrian application, installing an open graded stone, you're gonna excavate 10 to 14 inches, and this will also vary based on soil type and climate. Making sure that you're excavating six inches past your final project width, and the slope of your subgrade should mirror your final elevation, making sure we control the water. Once we've completed our excavation, we're gonna place that woven geotextile along the bottom, clean up the sides, encapsulating the entire area. The geotextile is gonna help with separation and act as a stabilizer to prevent any minor settlement. So once our geotextile is in place, we're gonna move on to the base. This is 8 to 12 inches of a 3 quarter inch number 57 stone. That's a clean stone, free of fines. This is gonna have 30 to 40% void space because we want water to flow freely through this system. Once the stone is in place of 8 to 12 inches, you're gonna tamp, settling the stones into place and just smoothing out that base. Once our base is in place, we're gonna install a non-woven geotextile fabric. This prevents the bedding layer stone from migrating into the stone while still allowing water to flow through the system. Once our non-woven geotextile fabric is in place, we're gonna move on to the bedding layer. This is a quarter inch clean stone, free of fines, one inch thick, using our one inch metal screed pole, not a PVC screed pole. This has flex to it. We don't want it to flex. If we use a flexible pipe for the bedding layer, we can get deviations in the final grade. Once our bedding layer is in place, let's move on to install our pavers. Here we're laying a tight joint with our Crema Eta antique pavers. If you would like to make this a permeable application, all you have to do is open up that joint to a 3 8 to a half inch and install a quarter inch stone. Same thing we have here inside the joint and fill the joints three quarter full. Cutting any of the marble or travertine products, making sure we're using a segmented high quality diamond blade for all cutting. Once we've laid our pavers, we're gonna lay our edge restraint. The edge restraint is a reinforced concrete edge using quarter inch rebar, tying each of those segments together, making sure we have one solid piece of rebar flowing through our edge restraint. Once our edge restraint is in place, it's time to decide whether we're gonna make this a permeable application or we're gonna lay our application joint tight. Here we lay our uh, application joint tight, free from any polymeric sand or any stone in the joints. If we would like to make this a permeable application, all we have to do is open up that joint, 3 8 to a half inch, fill with the same stone we have on site, filling it with that quarter inch stone, three quarters full. For additional technical support questions, please email us at support at marmero.com. Follow us on social media. Thank you for watching.